all our toys are suddenly gone. Our adventure has just begun. To get them back, we travel around in hopes that one day they might be found. Toy Seekers Episode 8 Big City Music The great adventure of the Roundy family continues. Got you, Bubble! Mr. Roundy exclaimed when the big pink patch appeared on the map. Where are we now, Dad? Otto was excited. Looks like it's heading for a big city, Mr. Roundy replied. A city? How big is that? Emma asked. It's so big that millions live there, dear, Mom answered. Dad continued, Let me tell you a bit more about cities. Lots of people live there indeed, and there are buses, metro lines, taxis, as well as small and huge buildings alike. There are many nice and interesting places to visit, like museums, green parks with squirrels running around, royal palaces, or Ferris wheels offering a great view over the city, Mr. Roundy explained while he was landing the four-wheeled flying boat. Right after his parents, Otto jumped out of the Wonder Vehicle, then Emma followed him, and finally Snoozy got out too, sleepy as usual. Stay close to us and hold hands, Mrs. Roundy had to shout over the heavy traffic. In the city, we have to be very careful not to lose each other, she added. Look, Snoozy, what a nice car, Otto nudged Snoozy as the vehicle passed by. Please stop, Mom warned her children at a pedestrian crossing. When there are traffic lights, you must wait for the walk signal to cross the street. Even then, you must always have a good look all around before you step on the road to see if anything is coming. According to our map, the bubble is in the city center. Let's catch it then and get my drumsticks back, Otto exclaimed. And he looked into the spyglass. I will find it. Hmm, I can't see any drumsticks. But there is a huge crowd at the fountain, Otto told his family excitedly. What are we waiting for? Let's go and see if we can find it, Emma urged the others. And so the toy seekers went to explore the city. What a white face he has, Otto was surprised. He is a mime, son. He imitates touching invisible things. He's really talented, Dad said. Wow. And there are performers, too, Emma exclaimed. Bob, Dad, can you see it? That boy has my drumsticks. Otto was jumping for joy. Hello, those drumsticks are mine, and I want them back right now. Otto was rude. Hey there, little fella. I'm sorry, but I can't give them back to you. You see, I found them, so they're mine, the musician replied. May I have my drumsticks back, please? Otto begged him. You know what? Let's give it a try. Follow the rhythm and prove that you deserve the drumsticks, the boy explained. I'll beat out a rhythm and you have to repeat it after me. What do you think? That's a great idea, Mom said, and she looked at Otto. Listen very carefully then. I'll begin, the musician said. Now it's your turn, he added nicely. Just listen and be amazed, Otto replied as he held the drumsticks and began to repeat the rhythm. Go, Otto, go. Emma and the rest of the family supported him, while all the other musicians gathered around them and joined in, playing together with Otto. Congrats, you were amazing. We had a great time, the boy told Otto. Hey, maestro, 
It was an honor to use your drumsticks. It was our pleasure. Have fun playing music, everyone, Dad said, and the family headed back to their vehicle. Take care. Peace, the musician shouted after them, and they waved goodbye to each other cheerfully. At the end of the exciting adventure, Mom put the drumsticks into the plastic holder, and the family was ready for takeoff. This was a real musical adventure, the whole family said together. When the Wonder Vehicle took off, and they continued their quest to get their lost toys back. Cities are exciting and really big, with lots of people and heavy traffic. Watch out for cars. Take care of yourself, too. A great adventure is waiting for you.